Okay, well, here we go. It's been a while since I've made a video, but um, as you can see, um, yeah, I've been a busy boy. So, um, yeah, this is all of my camping stuff. Um, I've got, uh, so I went to Walmart, Cabela's, and Dick's Sporting Goods, where, uh, where I got all this. Oh, and Home Depot as well. So, um, got to have one of these. Nice little propane tank, 20 pound. Um, so, obviously, that's going to be for my uh, camping burner. And also, in the near future, I will be getting... It's from this company in Australia. It looks like a really good quality system, uh, like for taking a, a hot shower. Um when you're out camping and stuff, it's a portable deal and it's like $450 and it runs off a of propane and it has a, has a little water heater. Oh, and then it has a, um, like a hundred foot line with a pump to where you can throw it in the lake or throw it in a, um, in a stream or a river to get your water from. Um, but with my system, I'm going to have like at least a 50 gallon water tank on the Humvee. Um, so I, you know, I'll be able to use um, potable water. Uh, anyways, so, um, you know, then I got got my line so I can, you know, uh, hook up to stuff for that. These right here, very, um, I, I wish I could have found something higher quality. Um, I know that clear plastic isn't ever the strongest stuff ever, um, but I had very um, very unique guidelines um, because the wheel wells on the Humvee are 13 inches tall. Um, I'm going to have a big plate that goes across, kind of like a tonneau cover kind of thing that I'm going to make myself, and that's also where I'll be having my bed to sleep on when I'm uh, camping. Um, but those wheel wells are 13 inches tall. So my platform is going to be sitting on that. So anything that I have that I, and I want to have like pretty much everything under it. So it keeps it all secure. Can't fly out of the vehicle. If I'm in town, park somewhere, prying, there's no prying eyes, there's no sticky fingers. Um, but so I have a 13 inch height. Requirement. Now, these are, I got these at Home Depot. These are 13 inches and uh, 13 and 1 8. So it's a, an eighth inch over, um, but you know, they'll, they'll squish a little bit. Um, I'm not concerned about that eighth inch. If I need to do little rubber spacers on top of the wheel wells, um, which that might be something I do anyways. Um, so that uh, 13 and an eighth inch will be fine. Um, but what I found these and what's, like I said, I would have rather had um, these other ones that were made by Husky that were, you could, I mean, they were $30 a piece where these were 20, um, but just the height was too big. And then the smaller ones were too small, uh, but these are waterproof. Um, so you can see the blue seal, that's a, a rubber seal there. And then that goes, on here and that snaps in as you can see that snaps in tight all the way around and that has an IP of oh hey sliding off there uh, IP 67 so that way everything that I have that way, everything I have in these, um, if I if I decide I want to afford that river of five feet deep, the whole bed can fill with water, and everything that's in these will will be out of the water, and they'll stay nice and dry, and nothing will get ruined. So I got uh, four of these for now. If I need to get four in the future, I will. Or in the future if I need to get more in the future I will but I figured four 
four would be good enough for right now. Um, uh, I got a bunch of these. I got like eight of them. I, do, I mean, I can always return them, but um, these are the stainless steel, stainless steel ones that are rated at 75. Whoop. These are the stainless steel that are rated at 75 pounds a piece. So I figured, you know what, I'll just uh, buy a bunch of these and have them in case I need them. So I have eight of those. Never know when odd stuff like that's going to come in handy. Um, let's see, where do I want to go next? All right. So I'm going to have my, I have my uh, reverse osmosis system that I made for work because I do, I do home remodeling and, um, with that reverse osmosis system, um, I, uh, I hook that up to the outside of a customer's house. And that way I have uh, fresh water that's super, super clean. And I don't have to go in their house with my dirty feet and all that stuff to fill up my water. Um, but then I use this because this is the original Gatorade stuff, the powder mix. And um, this, this stuff is made with real sugar. It's not the, the bullshit uh, high fructose corn syrup. Um, so I got a couple of these for when I'm out. Because, you know, I'm not going to have any ice. So, um, you know, plain water kind of gets boring. Plus hiking and traveling and stuff, you know, you're going to sweat and you need to um, have the electrolytes and all that stuff replaced. Let's see, we'll save this for later. Um, <laughs> so, you know, you got to keep yourself entertained. Got to keep yourself entertained. So, I bought this little electronic dartboard just for shits and giggles. So, who, whoever I'm out on an adventure with, um, you know, because I actually do really love playing darts and. Um, I might even try to join a dart league up here. It's not something I've ever been in a dart league or anything, but, um, you know, I, I have my background with basketball that I played hardcore for a long time. And, um, you know, darts is just another hand-eye coordination game. And I, and I really, actually, I really do enjoy darts. So, yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's a little flimsy, um, you know, but I mean, as long as it works, you know, and this is just for camping, so it's not like I'm going to get anything expensive. This is like $30 at Dick's Sporting Goods, and they, I got a, a, um, a couple sets of the nicer darts, and these were $15 a piece, so literally this was $30 and that was $30. So, I don't expect it to be high quality. Um, I just expect, you know, to be able to have a little bit of fun and, you know, being entertained. And if it gets damaged, then, you know, eh, well, it's only 30 bucks. Who cares? Okay, got a minute and a half. Um, okay. So, I got a couple of these little wood bowls. Um, I think I got these at Walmart or something. I just figured, you know, wood bowls out camping. That would be the cool thing to have. They were actually kind of expensive. I think they were like eight bucks a piece. Um, and then I got this at Cabela's. A single cast iron for cooking. Um, this is a... What is it, a seven inch? Eight inch. So this is an, an eight inch deal, but it's I like it because it's deep. I'll probably be, I don't, I'm not a cook, so I'll probably be doing a bunch of uh, canned food stuff when I'm out and about, because you know, I'm not gonna have a refrigerator or anything. So, okay, I'm gonna stop this video because I'm almost at 10 minutes, and then um, I'll be starting right back up again.